Hey everyone, how you guys going? Welcome back to my channel. This is the best channel for those who are wanting to gain weight by building muscle. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most common issues that we all face when it comes down to eating in surplus calories and that is digestion issues like constipation and bloating and those kind of things. Now I will be sharing three or four of my personal things that I practice on a you know weekly basis to ensure that I kind of you know avoid any kind of digestion issues in my um, journey. But I will also be talking about the bigger structure or the correct approach that we all should adopt when it comes down to moving into a surplus calories so that you can keep these kind of issues to a minimal so for those people who are here for quick fixes and they're just going to try and skip the video so that they can just um, learn about the tips then you guys please note it's all going to be useless for you if you're just going to stick to those tips and not worry about learning and educating yourself about the bigger approach um, so make sure not to skip the video and follow it along and learn and educate yourself before you try any of these tips for yourself also, please note any of you guys who've been experiencing, you know, digestion issues for a long, long time, then definitely make sure to consult a doctor because there could be any kind of underlying medical conditions as well that you need to treat or work on. Now, the first reason why or first mistake why people experience digestion issues like constipation or bloating and those kind of things um, when they move into a surplus is that all of us, we are in a hurry. We are in a rush. We want to gain all the weight that we possibly can in just a few weeks time. And to, to be able to do that, what we do is we throw and dump all those extra calories, uh, all those surplus plus calories on our body um, from the very first day and those are the people who experience most of these kind of issues right so you need to slow down don't make this kind of mistake right a slow progression is how your body is going to take it well adapt to it well right so you need to slow down start by increasing just about 40 to 50 calories each week stick to that increment for the whole week or about 10 days give your body time to adapt to those many calories and comfortably start digesting those extra calories before you supply your body with further increment in calories right so you need to adopt the right approach otherwise no matter what you do no matter what kind of tips you apl apply you will always experience digestion issues so if you are in a rush but your body isn't then you will always have that you know um, issue there um, so you need to make sure that you slow down a little bit work with your body listen to your body and let the whole process be comfortable on your belly on your stomach and let your body adapt and grow in the process at its own pace instead of you know throwing all those extra calories and letting your body just collapse and um, end up feeling constipated or bloated now i have been sharing tons of weight gain information on my instagram channel so if you're somebody who's really committed to you know transform yourself this year then be sure to follow me there i think i've been posting around four or five times a week there so that is a lot of information to learn from educate yourself from and apply those things in your weight gain journey so follow along on instagram and keep on learning with me Second important thing to keep in mind is yes, you are doing your weightlifting sessions or your workouts for an hour every single day or like five, four to five days a week. Um, but other than that, you want to make sure that you are physically active in your life, right? Just having those extra calories and then sitting on your desk for eight to 10 hours is not going to help your body in the digestion side of things, right? Um, if you're going to have a big meal and then if you're just going to sit down on your desk and not move, um, that is only going to give you poor appetite, poor digestion, um, and probably you will just end up gaining all the weight in your in your belly right that is the reason why a lot of people in the process of gaining weight just accumulate fat in their belly because they fail in giving their body um, that physical movement that your body requires right your body is not magically going to do everything you need to assist you need to support your body in the process and one of the best things that you can do to support proper digestion or better digestion is that you stay physically active throughout your day right if you're somebody who has a desk job then put in conscious efforts to get off your desk every two to three hours you know take loo breaks or maybe if you're somebody who sits for such longer hours then make sure when you're having your meals and snacks you stand up and consume those meals right so any kind of creative thing that you can do to make sure that there is movement in your body that there is walking involved in your body there is up and down the stairs involved in your day-to-day -day life you know those kind of things whatever you can do make sure there is physical movement and especially after your bigger meals and bigger snacks so that you can ensure that you are assisting your body in the process right i've started creating shorts videos on these tiny topics on how to stay active or you know um I recently shared a push-up variation which is amazing for those people who struggle to do regular push-ups so these kind of things i have started sharing on my shorts video so be sure to check out my shorts playlist um, so that you can keep on learning from those as well um, because these quick tips are definitely going to help you improve um, yourself in your weight gain journey now moving on to the third point which is water intake now this is one of the areas where most of us fail right we hardly even um, consume two liters of water every single day right which is basically a minimum mark for a person 
person who's um, physically active or if you're training you want to make sure that you are um, at least drinking a minimum of three liters of water every single day right our body requires good amount of water to function properly and one of the functions that we are struggling here with is your digestive system so to support proper functioning of that system you want to make sure that you're giving your body good amount of water right now other than that the first personal tip that I like to do here is that I like to take um, herbal teas time to time in my week so for example like ginger teas or uh, you have your lemon teas or mint teas now I know a lot of people will be like ah oh, but those teas they are um, you know people take those to lose weight no tea is going to make you lose or gain weight so um, don't worry about all that lukewarm water together with the qualities of these ingredients can help improve your digestion and that is what the purpose of these teas are right now two things here that I personally like to do is first um, on a weekly basis I try to include Nimbu Pani which is our homemade um, lemonade that we make using Kala Namak which is your black salt right black salt amazingly helps with improving digestion so that is one thing that I like to take time to time and of course this is something that I take often in like summer because you know of course you can have that um, nice cold Nimbu Pani and then of course in winters I prefer more like you know lukewarm teas and those kind of things right so um, that that is one of the things that I do and second thing that I um, also do is that I chew on fennel seeds after my bigger meals right it is in our Indian culture that we normally um, chew on a little bit of fennel seeds after consuming our meal right and there is a purpose behind that right um, when you chew your fennel seeds properly the juice that comes out of it assist with proper digestion proper breakdown of the food that you have eaten right so that is something you guys can also try out on a day-to-day -day basis to support proper digestion now fourth one is basically you know having a balanced food plan a lot of people think that you know it's all about just uh, dumping those surplus calories in your body and they don't care where those calories are coming from um, so please don't make that mistake because um, I personally have you know some clients who told me that you know they have consulted some dietitians before they reached out to me and the kind of food plan that was given to them was loaded with sugar like you know eat sugar 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 paneer 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 bananas 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 like um, they don't care what kind of breakdown of macronutrients and micronutrients you have in your food plan um, and basically the whole goal is to gain weight by hook or crook right um, if that's what you want to do of course my channel is not for you then because we are here to heal our body and develop our body and keep, make our body healthy whilst we also gain weight and build muscle right it's a healthier lifestyle and not some quick fix that eat your sugar and gain your weight because that is crap and you don't, never want to do that right so it's important that you have a balanced food plan I shared this recipe last week um, which is not just high in calories but also high in protein carbs and fiber um, which definitely if you have a meal like that then of course you know there is no way you will ever feel any kind of constipation or any kind of bloating because these ingredients will look after your body internally now the one thing that I personally include in my balanced food plan is yogurt right it's as good as curd so whatever is handy for you now of course I make sure that I include yogurt in my food plan every single day without fail but at the same time on some days um, each week I try to have yogurt like you know post dinner a little bit of yogurt with a little bit of muesli because when I do that like it definitely helps clear out my stool nice and smooth the next day and I feel gas free I feel bloat free and I feel so light my body feels so light and I, I feel um, better appetite wise as well so I try to do that every now and then so that I can look after my gut a little bit um, plus yogurt is a great probiotic which means it helps increase the good bacteria in your gut which means it will help strengthen your digestive tract Moving on to the next point, which is there are some exercises out there as well as some yoga poses that you can, um, you know, include in your lifestyle to support better digestion. I personally have never tried any kind of yoga pose which is there for digestion, but I personally like to do um, some sort of ab crunches to release any kind of gas that might be lingering around um, in my belly and which is what's making me feel bloated. So what you can do is you can ensure that you are doing some sort of ab exercises or some sort of crunches in your weekly workout routine as I feel that can surely assist with releasing gases or any kind of bloat that you might be feeling in your tummy. The sixth point is your sleeping pattern, right? This is one of the things again that gets neglected because of course we are so busy and the one thing that we compromise on is our sleeping. We'll probably sleep late or wake up early or you know we have poor sleeping habits. We are probably sleeping too late and waking up too um, late in the morning, right? So sleeping time is basically your body's recovery time. Recovery not just with like muscle recovery but your body kind of heals itself when you're asleep, right? Our body goes through a cycle and then the way human body is built like you know there is some sort of um, you know maintenance work that goes 
goes on um, inside our body um, when we are asleep right that is the recovery time so you want to make sure that you are not compromising on that recovery time so the better recovery time and healing time your body will get um, the better it will work when it comes down to functioning of all the organs inside our body right now I would suggest stick to at least six to eight hours of good night sleep every single day um, but at the same time that also doesn't mean that you sleep at 3 a.m. Um, and wake up at 12 p.m. the next day right that is also a bad sleeping pattern even though you'll be getting your six to eight hours but the timing is all um, you know crooked I personally um, what I have experienced in my case if I wake up um, around 7 7 30 I'll wake up nice and fresh I will feel hungry I will you know your, my body will automatically demand things but if I wake up a um, little late like around 8 30 or 9 o'clock I'll wake up feeling bloated and gassy and I won't even feel like having anything so other than just getting your six to eight hours of sleep you also want to make sure that your timing pattern is also good um, so that your body can do what it's meant to do to support you and your health now as I mentioned in the beginning of this video that you know of course you sure can try out these little tips that I have given you and the things that I personally try but at the same time make sure you understand the bigger picture as well as adopt the correct approach right um, other than that these are also little things that you need to practice on a day-to-day -day basis or on a weekly basis and not just something that you only follow on the days when you are actually feeling bloated right it doesn't work like that these are healthy habits these are healthy routines that you want to bring in your life so that you know your body can feel healthy healthy and stay healthy throughout and um, so that you can minimize these bloating or constipation or any kind of digestion issues so there you go guys that was the video for today I hope you got to learn something new definitely let me know in the comment section below if you have any further questions but other than that stick around on my youtube channel as well as on instagram for tons of weight gain information coming your way so that you can make 2022 your year and you can transform this year on that note I'm gonna see you at 5 p.m indian standard time on thursday till then stay fit stay fierce bye guys